Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. I'm working on a quilt today with every color in the rainbow. No, no color is excluded and it has a red square that kind of goes zigzagged through the quilt. Here's our block. Let's get started. For my quilt block today, I'm beginning with some strips. I want that red square to go through my quilt block and I do have some two inch strips that I'll be attaching to my red strip but I have a whole drawer full of two inch little squares that I'll be using. If you don't have a huge supply of squares then if it were me I would just put some more two inch strips together and cut them like I'm going to do for these red strips. Since I wanted my red strip to go through each of my blocks, it saved a little time to cut that red into a two inch strip, add some strips to that, and then that just saved me a little bit of time. And like I said, if I didn't have a lot of two inch squares, I would be joining a lot more two inch strips just to save me some time. But I do need to deal with that huge pile of squares that just continue to grow and grow. So after putting my red strip along with some different colors here. I'm going to be pressing my two strips that I'm sewing together here and then I'll be cutting them into two inch segments. block is a six by six so I'm going to take my red squares that I've cut and I'm going to lay them right next to my sewing machine and I will put five down going the same direction and then the last one I need to turn so that that red square is in the corner. I had my red squares arranged. All I had to do was take my big pile of two inch squares and fill in the empty spots all around, just trying to mix up the color and not get two like squares together.
I chain pieced each row. I'd add one square at a time or put two together at a time. I just tried to keep everything in order as I went along. So I would start at the top, I'd move to the bottom, adding one square or joining two squares together or two sets together. And then I cut them apart, laid them in order again. And when I was done, I had my six rows ready to go. I pinned my rows together at the seam and I didn't make sure that the seams were going one direction or the other. They just needed to be going opposite ways. You'll notice that some of the seams go to the right and some to the left. And in my experience, that doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't change the quilt a whole lot. And I didn't want to press these rows. I know I'm asked sometimes why I don't press and I did not press these. I think they go together just fine without pressing and sometimes if you're pressing tiny pieces, who knows, maybe some of these little squares were cut on the bias and it kind of stretches things out. So I would just rather wait until everything is sewn together to press my quilt block.
I was done with my quilt block, I put my quilt blocks together like this. The red squares sort of make a zigzag through the quilt. Uh, this is a great quilt block that is very versatile. You could do so many things with that red line going through the quilt block. You could also do a white line or a black line using, um, those are great fabrics that sort of pop out. So this is just a classic quilt using all the colors in the rainbow. I had fun putting it together and of course it's always nice sewing with you. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Thank you.